What is up people? How are we keeping? Right, this little video is about my log burner. So I've had a few people ask how's it going on and is it okay and how did I do the modifications to it? So this is how I'm going to show you. So the fire works really well. It, it's got a good draw up the flue. It creates quite a lot of heat. And what I've noticed, if you leave the doors open, it's not as hot as when you close the door. Because when you have the doors open, like when you have it roaring, if you open this door, you can see all the fire and it's roaring. But the, I think the actual fire starts to cool down. So what I normally do is I have that closed and this just a jar. That way you get a bit better flow. So you get a better fire. You're not just smouldering, you actually got a fire. And it, it really heats. I mean, this garage, as you can see, this workshop's quite a big workshop. And it, it easily heats my workshop. So how I did the mods that people want to know about, about moving the flue from the back to the top. Because from the top, you've got a much better draw. And the better the draw, the better the fire. So basically, you can see this little square with this round thing sticking on it. That was sitting flush on the back. Let me see if I can just get you to see. There you go, can you see that square plate? Yeah? Well, that square plate is the one I welded on to replace this one. So basically, I got a grinder and plunged it in and cut a square, and then this section came off. Then, when you buy this fire, this round piece here is loose. You can take it off to drop big logs in. So then what I did is draw it around this square piece, cut in, I think it was like five million, cut that square out, drop that on the top, welded it on. Then, as I said, weld a square piece over the back and then weld this down. Because you needed to seal to create the draw. And that's it. That is all I did. The flue's a bit gonna be rusty. If you could get one with a stainless flue, I think that would be better, to be honest. I think I am getting a little bit of water come in. See around where the tube goes through? Because the, where the tube goes through that plate isn't sealed. This actually turns, yeah? So I can turn this because the flue top, which is like the chimney bit that sticks out the top, is welded to that plate in there. And then that plate's fixed to this. And this is just pushed up because if I ever want to move the fire, I can just lift this, slide the fire out and drop the flue out without going up on the roof. But yeah, for the money, I think I've gone up a little bit in price now, but it's still like less than 200 quid. For the kit for this the straights and the bends but i didn't i didn't use any of the bends so probably i'd buy the fire on its own which is about 130 quid now i think and then buy a couple of straights and the top and my garage is blooming heck i mean well i'm six foot six and i can't even reach my roof so these pretty good so yeah just cut cut that piece out as a square weld it to the top weld that up cover the oil on the back that's all i did and to be fair it burns really well i burn this stuff it's like compressed wood but it doesn't smoke at all and it's oof, five or a bag and you get quite a lot in the bag, and I use your Kindle. So yeah, bless up there on the fire. Somebody asked me in one of the comments in my last one to do this little video, so I thought I'd just do it for you. I've got one of these little fans as well. These are really good out of the work because they're actually electric. See the little motor? This plate in here generate takes the heat, somehow generates that heat into power, to turn the motor 
which turns the fan, which blows the heat out. I always thought it was a heat rising that moved the fan, but... <laughs> That's my other day. Right then, up there in the fire. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if you don't mind. Catch you next time. <laughs>